Intraday recap for Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max, City XP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. And this is your daily market intraday market recap for Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. Doing this video a little earlier because I got to run out. I'm going to help out uh, Cody with a few things this afternoon. And we'll be busy on a fix and flip with him. Um, on that note, starting off Discord room. If you have any questions, please stop by. There's tons of information here on the side channels. We're chatting all day. We're dropping information about earnings, dropping information about the charts, updates continuously as I'm around and others are around help you with your trading if you have questions about particular sectors especially a lot of friends in metals and miners oil there's some things going on that i think people need to be aware of and be on top of again if you have any questions don't hesitate to check it out link is in the description below and let's get into it i'm going to float around today bitcoin we've talked about how to hold this trend line so far so good if not going back to thirty-five thousand, not really much to say Again, talking about the market, remember today is the first day or is the Tuesday, turnaround Tuesday post OPEX. I'm a big fan and a believer of bottoms and tops during OPEX, first three, last three days of the month. Sometimes it's days revolving around those. When you see OPEX, options expiration, I'll say that again, you just have to be aware that position positions can get stretched in directions that are a little further than they might need to go i guess the best way to describe it is positioning gets um stretched and sometimes you get lower lows or lows or highs that just seem a little crazy and don't make sense and ultimately if you can see the distribution intraday action especially some of the things we've been talking about recently you're not surprised by the signals when they play out the following week um yeah I, Let's just I'll stick around for gold and oil because those are where the signals were and also in the market stuff. But I want to talk about the TLT because I thought the TLT was getting stretched. Here we're at the 1.68. Here's the two day, uh, Tuesday turnaround Tuesday potential on the TLT. If you look at the action at the lows this morning, decent amount of volume. I mean, there's definitely pukage. When I say pukage, like, you know, people just giving up. And so if you look at the actual volume, Somebody was stopping, had stopping power down here this morning. That to me is accumulation. Now, however, does that make mean that today there was the bottom? We'll see how the action plays out. Again, I like TLT at some point because I do think the feds will get the low rates lower. But this has been extremely hard riding the lightning. You know, looking at this thing from the 130 range and then going all the way down to 120. We talked about the monthly. I thought it would hold the 100 month and it did, but then it, boom next month of april not very friendly we're at channel lows just be aware i think risk is now worth the reward to start looking back at it you know we talked about the three-day ranges and it failed i got stopped out of my stock i still have uh sold puts and then i have some calls that are probably going to go to zero but who knows i got till uh may and then a few in june so time will tell it's a dollar Talked about it getting up here to the 27 range. It's going to be difficult to probably break over it. We will see. Not really much to say. I mean, the dollar is just not really too concerned about it at this point. Currency action doesn't really bother me unless it's super volatile. At this point, it's not. Uh, talked about the VIX spiking, failing, coming back to 200 day. If you now look at the um, Discord room, you can see the Stock Traders Almanac. Typically Monday and Tuesday of April post OPEX are bullish. <clears throat> Looks like that bullishness is being confirmed with the VIX dropping. Let's get into the SPY so we can just see the nitty gritty of it all. I've been saying that I think we are going lower. People are trying to call for a head and shoulders bottom on the Qs. We'll see it next. At this point, it's very obvious. We talked about this yesterday, this outside reversal signal, like making a lower low, but closing a little bullish. Like you had every reason for Monday and Fridays that we talk about being smash days. It wasn't a smash day. Well, now we're back up. I think you can fill the gap, get back up here to 448, maybe 450 if bulls are lucky. I always tell people straight line moves are not normal. You don't really want to, you can't really bet on straight line moves when you're shorting especially you're going to see chop and so we talked about taking profits and some of the tech shorts taking off profits not completely because you never know maybe tech does ultimately just melt down but be in mind we are in earnings earnings is typically bullish 
CEOs, management's not going to come out and say, we suck and the world's ending, sell our stock. No, they're going to try to paint a rosy picture as they always do. So knowing that going into earnings <clears throat> after the chop, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some chop. I mean, could we get back to the highs? That would be pretty impressive. I don't know if that's going to happen. Again, I'm watching the monthly charts. I feel like we, you can tell like the market has peaked. The feds at some point have to pull the liquidity out. The market is anticipating it. We'll see it. But ultimately, market money will run back into the bond market because deflation. We'll see what happens. I mean, the key, again, spies, one day doesn't make a trend, but we talk about these candles not being that bearish, especially on a Monday. Again, if you're in the Discord room, talk about it almost like every day. Like Monday, Fridays, typically down days, and the market going up the other days. So anyway, is what it is. Here's that head and shoulders that people are talking about. However, I'm looking at the monthly chart, and this to me is a rocket that is not necessarily going to crash today, tomorrow. But if you've been around like I have, you know the peak for Qs got very volatile, and you made lower highs. Volatility, lower highs. I mean, I, SS loves to just joke like, hey, head and shoulders bottom, which, you know, again, I can. I mean, it's very clear that that's what it is. My brain just says, you know what, if everybody's thinking something, is it going to be right? I don't know. Now, again, near term, it could get back, say, to like the 20-day or something, but I just don't trust the action for the long term. And again, higher interest rates. I don't think interest rates are going back down to the lows of the 1%, 2% bonds, maybe 2% somewhere, but it, it's done. Easy money's done. Value is going to start rising over <clears throat> tech and time. And it, it's already started. And when we see it in the commodity sector, you can obviously see it. But I'm anticipating weakness everywhere for a little bit because that's what the market does. It's, you know, during a commodity bull market, even tech bull market, you don't go up every day. You have these times and periods where stuff pulls back and it looks like shit. People dump and scare the end of the world and it never ends. And then you continue your trend up. Let's look at the IWM because we talked about this looking like shit and chopping. Wouldn't be surprised if it got back up to 207, maybe. I don't know. You fill this gap, 20 day, then it can get back up here. Keep in mind, seasonality. Earnings is bullish. I'm interested to see how the reaction are, because I know there's warnings in earn like in earnings. Like there's not like the the data's not gonna be good. This last quarter is not gonna be good for a lot of companies. They're gonna struggle. How that plays out, we'll see. And let's get into gold because this is where I'm hopefully saving people money, saving them from themselves making people aware of what's going on all right gold we talked about watching the retest of the 2011 high you broke out on it last month we tested it again this month i am okay with the chop because again seasonality second quarter i'm not going to do this every video but go back and look at the april through june it's usually shitties shitties shitty for mines miners and metals sorry i'd adjust my chair that's the case then you don't want to you don't want to be leveraged large on this stuff. You rather look. You rather look for ideas in other places. I don't like seeing us get exactly to the 2011 highs yesterday and close at the lows. What did I say? Novice gap. Now again, watch the videos. Stop with the Discord room. I'm not just talking like with 2020 vision and rear rear view. I've just said lay off this stuff. I said you got probably got to take profits near the highs. Made a higher high, which hey, that happens. Opex. I said I didn't trust it. Again, you. Monday, you pop, all, look at all these dojis. All this action was just choppy. It was gappy, choppy. Should have gone higher. We talked about that. We should be breaking out if you're really bullish. You test 2011 highs, boom, gap down. Now you're back below this 183. I hate to be the bearer of bad news for my friends who are bullish metals because, again, I, people who know me know I'm very long-term bullish this stuff, but I know the I know the seasonality, the chop cycles. I know how this, knows how this shit plays out typically, and so... I don't know if, you know, this is, again, this is one of the years it didn't consider, like I said, anomaly. But keep in mind, it literally did the opposite. So this is the anomaly of a straight up. I don't think that's happening this year. I just don't. You can see how I have it painted out. Chop, chop, chop. Silver, again, this is the problem. I want to see a bull market in metals with silver leading. Not, lo not, not this action. I mean, again, we get back up over this high. You close at it, and then you gap down. Professional get, or novice gap, professional gap. This looks like shit. I'm sorry. You, you can lie to yourself if you'd like to. Again, I'm a bull long term, but I know near term it looks like absolute shit in the metals and miners market. Today's action, the GDX. If this isn't a fucking sign, 
we talked about this was a novice gap. You opened up, looked up, closed at the lows. Then you professional gap down. If the 20 day breaks, you're done. What have we said about this 40 area? Now, again, don't pull out a freaking ruler and measure the exact height and say, oh, it has to hit this level to be a failure. I'd use this blue box. I know it's very big, but it, this has to break above it. If it doesn't, that is bearish, man, because now we're getting back into it and failing. Big up move, chop, 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 chop. Potential fail. Seasonality not in your favor. Get the fuck out. And when I say get the fuck out, like, just give it some time. Give it some time. You don't need to rush into the metals and miners after they've already run up. I mean, I've had this conversation with a friend about uh, Southwest Airlines. Like, he likes it this morning. We'll get into that one a little bit. But you know, just don't chase. Like, this is this consolidation. And if you know the seasonality, again, I don't trust it. I could be wrong here. I just don't trust it. Powers that be are not done. They want to get metals down before they probably start the next run. That's my guess. AEM, and again, we'll see it in some of the miners. Talked about this action. This is a nice test of the range highs. Gap down. Problems. AG. Here's something that I've been really paying attention to, and people who know me know I've said this over and over. over. AG is a, is a levered version of silver. The stock needs to be making new highs, not breaking trend lines and breaking the 20-day. I don't know what else to say other than this is not a confirmation signal of bullishness for the metals and miners. Same thing with pass. Got back up towards the highs, gap down. Now again, everybody's looking at Newmont. Right? Yesterday was a doji. Today's a gap down. I was wrong. I thought this was going to be an M pattern because we are at some uh, important levels. Trend lines on the monthly. Again, it's hard to predict during OPEX. Just put that in your journal like opex chopex that's the reason why it's chopex doji gap down you have to hold the 20 day you can see it here if it holds 20 day it's bullish if it's not get the fuck out please x this one's been interesting chopping around we talked about the m at the old again if you're newer to the channel 200 month we hit it in blue you see it hopefully you see it there you go. You can't miss it. Talked about it and made a nice move. Look at this straight line move up. Needs to chop. 20 days key. Notice how it just like is holding it, holding on to it like a life, life, like lifeline. That's the lifeline. If it breaks, it's gone. Uh, valet talked about this being a novice gap top, novice gap, professional gap, and look what's going. When you get a bull trap, and so this is what's very, I mean, it's almost like if you're at this point in the video, Look at this, and then look at the GDX, maybe some of the miners. They're making like slightly higher highs, outside reversals, or gap and traps. Novice, pro gap, boom. That's a gap and trap. Again, watch the whole video. You're going to learn a lot. Because, again, we, we don't promise certainty. We just look for the evidence. So now what do we say? Because, again, I tell people, take your profit on commodities, valley, especially. Maybe 17. I also said this. Let me put, um, let me add this note. Prayer level. When I say prayer level, like pray that you get there. Because if it gets down to 15, you, you call me and you buy the shit out of this stock. And you don't even think twice about it. Seriously. Seriously. CCJ. Talked about it getting into the monthly resistance. No one listens. Everyone's like, oh, it's bullish, bullish, bullish. So you go look at Twitter. Everyone's like, uranium, uranium, uranium. Hey, folks, we're in some resistance. Support equals resistance. Thought this was an M, but look at this action. Like, every day is red. Someone is selling. Someone has the capacity of stopping power. This is not bullish. This is not bullish action near term. It's probably ready to take a spill. Again, I could be wrong. We're hitting major resistance. I would think if you have profits, please take them or the market will. That's a famous saying. Um, Mosaic and CF. Talked about he's been on fire. Please just take some profits. I don't know. Like there's no topping signal. I'm not watching them closely enough. But I do know straight line moves. You you pray it's this, but even within this, look at these long, like wide and loose, like wide candles. Look at this big doji. Like, pray you get a pullback. I mean, I think you could get a pullback down. Now, again, we've talked about the levels. Watch the 20-day. Pray you somehow get into the 50s. 
that's the prayer level. Oh man, that would be awesome. I mean, you could buy it and not even think twice about it for a decent trade. Good old CF, man, chopping at the highs. Tough, 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 tough. Some sort of wide and loose M. This candle, if you're bullish the stock, you need to invalidate it by going higher. That's why we held the low of it pretty well. Just say the 20 day, say 105. Hold 105, it's good. Not, gotta, better have a parachute because I think it jump off a cliff. All these names could. Commodities could actually lead tech down because tech is lagging. Look at AMD, dog shit. Talked about shorting it up here, congratulations. Took some profit off it down here. Always saying if it gets worse, it's going to 70 quick. I'd prefer it to bounce so you could add to shorts. I know um, somebody on the Discord room, who is it? Wrath, Khan. Who is it? Um, do, 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 do. I like to give shout outs. Yeah, Roth of Khan was talking about buying AMD weekly puts. That's a good trade. If you got near the eight day, boom. I don't necessarily know short term what's going to happen here. We are below. Could this be a short term bear trap like this whole action during OPEX and then pop back up, say, to like 110? Anything's possible. The market is over, is, is ready to pop, I feel like, but I'm interested to see what happens. Apple, same thing we talked about with like this 165 area, take some profit. This action yesterday wasn't bearish. I, you don't want to, you want to see continuation. And then when it closed right back near where it closed on Friday, now we're popping to higher highs and higher lows. Near term, this congestion, again, I will be impressed if it gets over 170. And if 170 happens, ring the bell, take the short, don't be scared, have a stop. Uh, MicroStrategy. Holding the 50 day. Again, if Bitcoin's good, this is good. There's really not much to say. Roblox, there's some rumors floating around of a takeout. Not surprised considering at the price. I mean, it's. This thing has gotten absolutely shit canned. It's riding. It has its own lightning to ride. Keeps riding the low end of channel. This down. See, it happens. I mean, I think you need to get back over 43. You need to get back over this left shoulder line to really secure that. Tesla, we've talked about the stock. Leave it the fuck alone for the long term. If you want, trade it. We talked about the 100 day held. 20 days, the high of the day. Get over it. Maybe you filled this gap. I'm not. You couldn't pay me to buy this stock. I mean, I like Elon. I like everything. But, I mean, like as in, like, a sense I trust him as a company. But not playing it. Penn, the March Madness gambling stock that never went anywhere in March. Now bouncing. Maybe gasoline is coming down. Maybe there's more gambling to come. It is um, start of baseball. I don't know. Not really playing it. UTHR. Talked about the 100, 200 day. Now it's backing off. You can see very clearly, like, once you start looking at moving averages, probably should hold right here at 184. EXPI, again, That's this thing is crazy, the stock sometimes. And I like the volatility because if you're smart about it, you can buy the dip. Long term, I... <laughs> thing is a freaking deal i know the company we're doing well i know real estate might be slowing but you want to pick the winner and i think we're all, we'll this company will be a winner all right let's end it on the xop short because a lot of people just you know there's i don't know everyone's bullish oil that's a bad sign chopex notice again it looks very reminiscent of like gold and silver how it just a lot of indecision at the highs not a ton of selling but if you look at some of the intraday action you can actually see it let me turn it down to the 10, to 10 minute. Do to do again. Uh, what, yesterday you had it at the open, big, wide, and loose candle. Somebody again, it, oil was running higher, and everybody had a reason to buy it. And the market makers clearly didn't give a shit and were selling it without with reckless abandon. You saw some after hours action on light volume. Same thing at the open, you know, you had every reason to drop and flop and go crazy and you had this pop and then boom, sell. Notice how the volume, I would say it's a little better for the bears here and we're popping on lighter volume. We can go back in the way back time machine on the 10 minute. It's just hard sometimes to see it, but you saw like the end of the day, that was distribution, opening candle distribution, end of day distribution. It's just, Again, another opening bar of wide and loose. This this can go on for periods of time. Keep in mind, imagine, I always tell people this. If you've been trading oil, look at the volume down here. Think about 
all the opportunities people had to buy oil service names around 20 or 30 dollars do you think it's going to take a day to top Ugh, i wish no so same thing going into exxon mobile they've got earnings coming up i think it's friday be careful we talked about this area it needs to be invalidated if it can't boom i think it's going to fail if you have any questions stop by the discord room again we like drip down here in the low 20s i mean i'd love to say you could buy it at 19 and that was the low i don't know that for sure but this action yesterday a little pop back i don't trust commodities near term i don't because everybody loves them that is the biggest problem like when everybody loves something and it's already made a big run you got to be careful because that is literally the definition of let me get into the volume price analysis rules as a merchant specialist will expect to sell at a retail what they bought at wholesale, the longer the specialist remains in business, the more money they will accumulate to buy stock at wholesale, which will they want to sell at retail, which will take time. The expansion of communications media will bring more people into the market, tending to increase volatility of the stock price as they increase the elements of demand and supply. In order to buy and sell huge quantities of stock, exchange will seek new ways to enhance their sales techniques through the use of the mass media. Rule number four is in full effect. When that ends, I don't know. I just know it's happening. And if you know that rule and you're familiar with it and you know how to exact, be smart about it, you're going to do well. You're going to understand the trade. So, all right. Talk to you guys and gals later. Hit you up. Hit me up if you got questions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.